After retiring from the national team, Chiyu devoted herself to the field of agriculture. At a gathering, someone started to coax that whoever loses a shooting game will be kissed by Chiyu. Looking at Chiyu in the experimental field, who was carrying a hoe and unkempt with a muddy face while growing potatoes, the big guy's face turned green. Everyone was eager to aim at the target, fearing punishment. The final result was that A's male god Gu Huai raised his hand and missed the target, shooting a zero loop. On the second meeting, Gu Huai was maliciously provoked and crushed step by step at the fencing hall. Chi Yu couldn't bear to watch and was forced to take action. When we met for the third time, Gu Huai was homeless by the roadside. Chi Yu spent three months of living expenses to help him. Years later, Chi Yu looked at the world shooting record certificate with Gu Huai's name written on it, the fencing championship trophy, and more than ten sets of property certificates that were dug up from home and fell into contemplation. Dot. Keywords of the novel. Moon in the Arms Without Pop-Ups, Moon in the Arms TXT Complete Collection Download, Moon in the Arms Latest Chapter Reading. Chapter 1. Men Only Affect My Potato Growing Speed. You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Chapter 1. Men Only Affect My Potato Growing Speed, Hello, Can I Help You? What Are You Busy With? Give Me a Kiss. Dot. When Chi Yu received this request, she was wearing a chicken coop head that had not been washed for three days, carrying a hoe, wearing black rubber shoes, and the mud spots on her face were not even dry. And suddenly walked up to her, the man who asked her for help had an extremely beautiful face, amber eyes like a wheat field blown by the wind, and Qingjuan's figure, even standing on such a muddy ridge, was like an ink painting. The man had a faint curve on his lips and an apologetic look in his eyes, explaining, I'm sorry, I just lost a game with them. Chi Yu followed his gaze and glanced not far away, and indeed saw a group of people cheering. Turns out I lost playing games Chi Yu had just realized when her roommate Song Chiu Chiu suddenly came back to her senses and screamed in her ear, Ah. Gu. Gu Gu. Gu Huai. Our school's top male god. Gu Huai. Chi Yu glanced at the man in front of her. She spends her days soaking in the experimental field, either raising pigs or growing potatoes, and doesn't pay much attention to other things, so naturally she doesn't know any male gods. Is it possible to borrow a seat? Gu Huai asked politely again, his smiling eyes as beautiful as the stars. Chi Yu was busy digging the ground with a hoe and didn't lift her head when she heard the words. So what, I'm sorry. It's really troublesome for you to suddenly come over and make such a request, and I'm very busy. Let me plant potatoes now. Song Chiu Chiu's face was full of disbelief and he said, Big brother, you can see clearly. This is Gu Huai. Chi Yu patted Song Chiu Chiu's leg in the way and said, Man, it will only affect my speed in growing potatoes. Song Chiu Chiu. Dot. Upon hearing this, Gu Huai gave a very light smile, which fell on people's hearts like a dandelion. He glanced at Chi Yu's experimental suit and said, Are you from Agricultural College of a University? I had the opportunity to talk to Professor Shen about a new hybrid breeding technology for potatoes that can greatly improve potato yield. Are you interested? Chi Yu's eyes almost instantly lit up, and the next second, it was like a sunflower seeing the sun, brushing its head up and saying, Hey! You get closer! Get closer! This looks more realistic! She was still regretful when she started live streaming to sell potatoes the day before yesterday. If only she had the opportunity to exchange her experience of growing potatoes with Professor Shen. Unexpectedly, the material of dreams can still be reflected in reality. The man let out a low and hoarse smile in his chest and leaned closer with ease. Come on. Let's talk more about it. Professor Shen, is that Professor Shen Xianming? That kind of national treasure level tycoon is not so easy to see. Can you still chat with him? You won't deceive me, will you? Chi Yu spoke skeptically, looking at whether you were bragging. 
Gu Huai coughed lightly and said, Professor Shen is my uncle. Chi Yu. Dot. At this moment, Gu Huai was shining brightly in her eyes. Chi Yu instantly smashed her messy little head and said, Is this borrowing position realistic enough? The man was lightly tapped on the girl's head, smiled helplessly, and reached out to help her adjust her position slightly. After holding for about two seconds, it was probably certain that the person over there had seen it, so they immediately stood up and retreated to a polite distance. Okay, thank you very much for your help. Although it was quite an ordinary thank you, it came out of his mouth with a hint of heartstring stirring. Chi Yu waved her hand generously and said, You're welcome. It's just a matter of lifting a finger. If you need any help next time, remember to come to me. Gu Huai chuckled lightly and said, Okay. So. A new technology for growing potatoes. Chi Yu rubbed her hands eagerly. It's not very convenient at the moment. Can we wait until my end? Line by line. Chi Yu too and nodded like a chicken pecking at rice and asked casually, What game did you lose in playing? To be honest, adventure or king's game? Shooting. Gu Huai replied. Shooting. Chi Yu was slightly stunned when she heard these two words, but quickly regained consciousness. How many rounds did you hit? Zero ring, missed the target. Chi Yu's mouth twitched and said, then you're really good at it. Gu Huai did not deny it. His long eyelashes covered the smile in his eyes and he said, hmm, thank you for your help. 2022 New Year's Cookies, the short article should not be too long, it is a relatively easy sweet article. I hope everyone has a pleasant time eating them, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Is not picked, I gave it as a gift. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Is not picked, I gave it as a gift The other party's sincere attitude made Chi Yu feel a bit more favorable. It's okay, you're welcome. Just tell me more details about the content you discussed with Professor Shen. By the way, when will it end on your end? Chi Yu felt a bit anxious at the thought of Professor Shen's new technology for potato hybrid breeding, and didn't want to wait for a minute or a second. Gu Huai glanced at the watch on his wrist and said, There may be a while left over there. If you're not busy, you can come over with your friends first. Upon hearing this, Song Chiu Chiu immediately grabbed Chi Yu's arm and shook it, pleading, Dwe Bao, go ahead and go. Anyway, we have also completed today's task. Please. Next time you live stream selling potatoes, I'll be your child. Chi Yu glanced at her and said, It's not necessary. My potatoes are very good and I don't need them. If you want to come over and be my top scorer, I can consider it. Song Chiu Chiu weighed her wallet and said. I don't deserve it. Song Chiu Chiu couldn't help but leaned in Chi Yu's ear and whispered, Let's go together, won't you be able to hear the potato recipe earlier? Chi Yu considered it for a moment and felt that Song Chiu Chiu's words made sense. Okay, I'll go with you and talk to you as you walk, right? Gu Huai casually removed the grass leaves from Chi Yu's head, and his beautiful peach blossom eyes seemed to be infused with gentle moonlight. Okay. So Chi Yu and Song Chiu Chiu followed Gu Huai towards the shooting range. On the way, Gu Huai Xian briefly chatted with Chi Yu. Chi Yu listened attentively and nodded occasionally, it makes sense. Song Chiu Chiu didn't even pay attention to what they were saying and agreed, NN, you really have a reasonable appearance. As soon as Chi Yu approached, she heard them discussing the matter of Gu Huai losing and being punished just now. It's really thanks to Gu Huai, otherwise Jiang Lang would have suffered a lot today. Originally, Jiang Lang had the lowest number of rings, but that guy only hit two rings. As a result, Gu Huai finished last for him. Gu Huai had no intention of participating at first, so he probably wouldn't know much about it. Oh, you think Gu Huai doesn't know much? Jiang Lang was about to speak when he saw Gu Huai coming back, accompanied by those two girls. Hmm. Why did you bring the person back? These two are classmates from our school's agricultural college, Gu Huai introduced. 
Chi Yu. Chi Yu gave a brief introduction. For a moment, everyone looked curiously in the direction of Chi Yu. In fact, upon closer inspection, it can be seen that Chi Yu's skin is very fair without any mud on her face, and her facial features are not unsightly. It is her attire of farming under her that is indescribable. So, just now when I heard that the punishment was to kiss this girl, everyone really set their sights on the target. Hello, my name is Song Chiu Chiu. I'm sorry to bother you, right? Song Chiu Chiu politely spoke. No, no, no. Come and play together, we're all alumni, not outsiders. There's so much excitement. Everyone only treated two girls as trying to get close to Gu Huai, so they suggested coming over to play. Gu Huai didn't refuse, so naturally they couldn't say anything. Especially the girl named Chi Yu, who had been following Gu Huai step by step on the road just now, her eyes constantly glued to him, listening to every word he said. It is obvious that Gu Huai has already lost his mind. Hey, another fallen someone looked at Chi Yu and laughed, teasing her, Sister, you're so lucky. Do you know how many girls in our school treat Gu Huai like wolves? Yeah, I didn't expect everyone to squeeze their heads out to pick the jailing flower, and it was just like that in that sorghum field, you picked it. Many people are joking. Chi Yu frowned slightly and instinctively said, Ah. I haven't picked it either, have I? And. That's a potato field. A faint smile appeared on Gu Huai's lips beside him, hmm, it's not picked, I gave it as a gift. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Destiny is Destiny. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3. Destiny is Destiny Upon hearing this, Chi Yu unexpectedly glanced at Gu Huai and felt that he was quite good and capable. Song Chiu Chiu. Dot. I am tired of saying the word envy. Song Chiu Chiu couldn't help but sigh, actually, even if you haven't played before, you shouldn't miss the target. The probability of missing the target is almost as high as full circle. Moon Treasure. You're really lucky. Is there any? Chi Yu pondered for a moment before speaking slowly, my luck has never been good, perhaps. Was he destined to have this calamity? Song Chiu Chiu. Dot. Gu Huai curled his lips imperceptibly when he heard the girl's words. At this moment, a man wearing a black motorcycle jacket walked over and said, All right, now that Gu Huai has completed the punishment, let's move on to the next game. Now it's the girl's turn to compete, right? The girls seem to be lacking in interest on this side. What's the point of punishment just for losing? What's the advantage of winning? Hey, how about this? The winning girl can be rewarded with a date with any man present, such as me, suggested the man in a black motorcycle jacket with a smile. The girls immediately looked disgusted upon hearing these words. What? Ling Fong, come on, who wants to date you? That's it. And rewards. It's too narcissistic, isn't it? This is also called a lottery. Unless. Unless you can choose Gu Huai. I don't know who said. Can't you even see a handsome guy like me here? The man named Ling Fong felt a bit embarrassed and said helplessly, Hey, okay, okay, then Gu Huai. Whoever wins can go on a date with Gu Huai, okay. Damn it, his handsomeness always hits a wall when he meets Gu Huai. Now the girls are excited. Is it okay? Is it really okay? If you win, you can go on a date with Gu Huai. You have to ask Gu Huai for his opinion, right? Gu Huai wouldn't agree. Ling Fong, what you said doesn't count. Ling Fong could only obediently go over to discuss with Gu Huai, Hey, Gu Huai, are you really capable? Jiang Lang blew a whistle next to him and raised his eyebrows with a smile, saying, Ling Fong, you're obviously using Gu Huai as a lottery ticket to give them benefits. Although he didn't want to admit it, if he could really choose Gu Huai, those women wouldn't all be rushing towards him. What's the room for choice in this lottery? 
Go aside, otherwise I'll use you as a lottery ticket. Do you think they're willing? Ling Feng Bai glanced at him. Jiang Lang was so angry that he rolled up his sleeves and said, Damn it! What's wrong with me? Young master, why am I not worthy of being a lottery winner? Seeing that Gu Huai remained silent, a girl came out to try to smooth things out. Hey, stop messing around with Gu Huai. Yeah, Gu Huai definitely doesn't agree, why don't we just forget about it? Can we change the color scheme? Song Chiochio also whispered to Chiyu, how could it be possible? Gu Huai definitely wouldn't agree to play like this. He's so handsome, he's at a disadvantage. At this moment, Chiyu only had potato literature and some new theories mentioned by Gu Huai to her in her mind. She didn't even listen to what they were saying and absentmindedly replied, hmm, definitely not. Listening to everyone's discussion, Gu Huai's gaze seemed to blow through the mountain mist. He slowly picked up a black air pistol and casually responded with a lazy expression, I can do anything. P.S. Baby, there are building activities and activity list activities on the top post in the Q reading book review area. If you hit the building, there will be one. The activity list is in the top 50, and there are many new peripherals. You can go and participate. Ha, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Adding Colorful Headings You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Adding Colorful Headings, Did You Hear Me? I said Gu Huai wouldn't agree. Oh, wait. No. What did Gu Huai just say? He said he can do it. Song Chiu widened her eyes. Not only Song Chiu Chiu, everyone was confused. After a moment, everyone screamed in excitement and the atmosphere instantly heated up. Men are afraid that the world will not become chaotic. Did you all hear me? Let's fight. Let's fight. This duel is so exciting, probably even more intense than the previous one. It's really scary for women to pick each other up. Ling Feng had a ghostly expression on his face and lowered his voice in Gu Huai's ear, saying, Didn't you prioritize chastity over anything else? Why did you suddenly play so openly? Gu Huai gave him a leisurely glance and said, Is it open? Ling Feng. Can't I open it? Gu Huai picked up an air pistol casually, and his knuckled fingers slowly rubbed the stock of the gun. With a lazy smile, he said, I can open it up a bit more. Ling Feng. Dot. Can he drive a little more? Ling Feng was surprised and blurted out, is it really fake? Let's add some excitement and have some fun. The date will be extended to three times. Gu Huai. I'm free. Ling Feng. Dot. Ling Feng was really stunned now, he never thought that Gu Huai's personality could agree. Others were also excited when they heard Gu Huai's words, and the scene was comparable to Chinese New Year. Gu Huai rarely cooperated like this, and the others naturally had no objections. The atmosphere suddenly became even hotter. Chi Yu didn't pay attention to what was being discussed over there and was so excited. She glanced at the time on her phone, yawned, and found a corner to stay. I was originally here to hear Gu Huai talk about the method of growing potatoes, but seeing that he has been busy for a while now, I don't think he can spare any time. I can only wait for them to finish Ling Feng clapped his hands and said, All right, everyone, get ready and we can start. The competition rules are very simple, one shot determines the winner. A few people finished fighting soon. The number of rings is 8.3, 10.1, 9.5, 8.7, etc. Song Chiochio swallowed her saliva and said, Oh my god. This is too powerful, isn't it? Chi Yu glanced at him and said, the perfect score is 10.9 points. If it's a relatively high dot level game, playing 8 points is considered normal performance. If playing 7 points, it's considered abnormal performance. The first few players should have some confidence. What if we miss the target? Song Chiu asked subconsciously. 
Chi Yu was speechless for a moment and said, It's just a dish. When Chi Yu explained to Song Chiu Chiu, a voice with a smile came from beside him. Do you know much about shooting? I don't understand, I've seen a commentary on TV before. Chi Yu casually said. Who do you think will win? Gu Huai asked casually. Chi Yu thought for a moment and said, Purple clothes, it seems like the girl named Yi Lin Ling. I just checked her test shot and it's quite impressive and stable. Gu Huai suddenly turned his head to look at her, his peach blossom eyes curved, and he blushed and said, Really? I don't think so. Chi Yu didn't hear Gu Huai's words clearly. What? At this moment, it was Yi Lin Ling's turn to come on stage. The girl named Yi Lin Ling raised her hand and aimed at the bullseye. The next second, accompanied by a bang of gunfire, the results came out. 10.8 rings. Song Chiu Chiu almost screamed, the perfect score is 10.9 rings, she shot 10.8 rings, my goodness. You hit you bow, this girl is really amazing. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Is Hasty. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 is Hasty. Seeing the number of rings on Yi Lin Ling, others were also amazed. Although this shooting range is different from the official competition venue, this result is also very impressive. If nothing unexpected happens, there shouldn't be any higher. Yi Lin Ling's cheeks blushed slightly as she walked up to Gu Huai and said with a smile, Master Gu, what you said yourself doesn't count, does it? Gu Huai. Natural arithmetic. Yi Lin Ling's eyes lit up and she said, So you agreed to go on a date with me? Three times. Gu Huai casually turned the watch on his wrist and said, Isn't it still unfinished? Yi Lin Ling snorted, I don't believe anyone else can have a higher ring count than me. Sure enough, although the number of rings played by the remaining few people was also very high, they did not exceed that of Yi Lin Ling. Ha 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 Lin Ling, you're too competitive. How can we play with your number of rings? That's right, I'll just give you the lottery. Everyone was joking, and Yi Lin Ling's expression was completely determined. Gu Huai's expression remained indifferent as usual, as if he was completely indifferent to the outcome. Another girl finished the competition, and a burst of cheers erupted in the crowd. Huh, it's only 7.5 rings. Sure enough, let Lin Ling win. Chi Yu, who was closing her eyes and recuperating in the corner, opened her eyes due to the noise and suddenly regained her energy. Is it over? Gu Huai looked helpless and said, almost, but I'm sorry, I might have to deal with three more dates. What? You have to wait so long. Chi Yu's face darkened instantly. Looking at the disappointed expression on the girl's face, Gu Huai chuckled and said, Or. Do me another favor. A man really has an extremely beautiful face, with clear and juicy eyebrows and eyes. When there is a smile in his eyes, it feels like a peach blossom rain is in full bloom. Chi Yu shook her mind and said, Ah. What are you busy with? Do you want to give it a try? Gu Huai suggested. Ah. Chi Yu didn't react for a moment. Upon hearing this, Song Chiu Chiu leaned over and shook Chi Yu's shoulder wildly, urging her, Moon treasure, moon treasure. Give it a try. Let's just help Gu Huai. If you win, the lottery will be yours. Chi Yu was a bit confused when she was shaken and said, Me. But I don't know at all. I haven't even touched a gun. Upon hearing this, Gu Huai's ink dyed deep eyes flashed a complex expression. Um. Do you think so? What if you're lucky? Kai Tu can pick anyone present to date three times. If you pick Gu Huai, then you don't have to wait for him to date someone three more times to talk about that new hybrid potato technology. Song Chi Chiu poked at Chi Yu's heart. Chi Yu was stunned at the words. She didn't even pay attention to what they were playing just now, and naturally didn't pay attention to what winning the lottery was. Hey wait, what did you just say was the winning lottery? Chi Yu asked again. 
Song Chiu Chiu. The boys present can choose any one, go on a date three times. Chi Yu. Dot. At this moment, Chi Yu automatically understood this sentence as, choose anyone present. Pick Gu Huai. Date. Talk about potatoes. Three times. Talk three times. Chi Yu. Tisk. Hurry up. Gu Huai. I had a great time playing and missed the target. Chi Yu. I can't play, I haven't even touched a gun. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. I teach you. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 6 I teach you just as Chi Yu was caught in a battle between heaven and man, Ling Feng walked over and warmly greeted Chi Yu and Song Chiu Chiu, hey, two beautiful women, come and give it a try. Ah. We. Oui. Isn't someone handing a pillow when you're dozing off? Song Chiu Chiu's eyes lit up instantly, but her face was still quite reserved. But, neither of us knows much, can we? What's that? We don't even know how to do it. We're all amateurs, just play around. We've all arrived, it's so boring just to watch. Hurry up, hurry up. Beat Yi Lin Ling to death. She's too arrogant. Ling Feng burst out laughing. The attitude of other boys is also afraid that the world will not be chaotic, so they naturally don't mind having two more people. Come and play together. Right, right, come and give it a try. Don't be afraid. Lin Ling, do you mind having two more competitors? Yi Lin Ling raised her eyebrows and said, competitors. Yi Lin Ling obviously didn't take Chi Yu and Song Chiu Chiu seriously. However, this sudden appearance of a girl named Chi Yu not only inexplicably kissed Gu Huai, but also kept clinging to him, which made her a bit unhappy. Yi Lin Ling wrapped her arms around her chest and smiled, saying, Okay, you guys should give it a try too. Beg for mercy. Song Chiu Chiu bumped Chi Yu's shoulder and said, So, I'll go try the water first. If I win, I'll give you these three dates. Judging from Gu Huai's attitude, it's obvious that he doesn't want to date women. He can't resist being teased and has no choice but to play. Although she is a Yango, she is simply a Yango. I dare not think of anything else, so why not give Chi Yu, who has been knocked unconscious by potatoes, the opportunity to talk about potatoes. So, Song Chiu Chiu rubbed his hands and eagerly entered the field. Chi Yu's eyes lit up as she waved and cheered Song Chiu Chiu from behind, Chiu Chiu, come on. At this moment, Chiu Chiu's thin and weak shoulders seemed to carry her potatoes for a semester. Although Song Chiu Chiu doesn't know how to do it, he has played it a few times and the basic operation is fine. After a moment, she took a deep breath, raised her hand, and successfully fired a shot. After a loud bang, the result came out on the scorer. How much? Song Chiu Chiu looked nervous. Puff, five rings. Song Chiu Chiu. Dot. A shower of potatoes fell from Chi Yu's eyes. Dot. Ling Feng patted Song Chiu Chiu's shoulder and said, It's pretty good. As an amateur, you can already play this number of rings very well, even more powerful than Jiang Lang. Jiang Lang's face turned black and he said, My hand was slippery. Let's do it. Song Chiu Chiu sighed and lowered her head, Oh, it really doesn't work. The few girls next to me all burst out laughing. Why should they waste this time? Yeah, it's so boring. Yi Lin Ling glanced in the direction of Chi Yu and said with some indication, We must make them give up. Song Chiu Chiu looked at the last hope and said, Yue Bao, it's your turn. Give it a try. Oh, I forgot, you can't shoot. Song Chiu Chiu was about to teach Chi Yu when Gu Huai walked over and said, Do you know how to hold a gun? Seeing Gu Huai pass by, Song Chiu Chiu quickly gave way and stepped down. Chi Yu instinctively replied, I don't know. Gu Huai's eyes flickered slightly as he heard the words, I'll teach you. Chi Yu glanced at Gu Huai. Gu Huai probably guessed what she would say and explained, 
cough, I'll teach you the basic operation. Gu Huai picked up the gun and patiently demonstrated to her the posture of holding the gun. Did you see it clearly? Hmm. Chi Yu tried to lift the grab. Gu Huai picked up her hand and helped her adjust her posture. Aim with one hand, relax the other hand and shoulder, and ensure that the height of the front sight of the gun is consistent with the gap in the sight. Gu Huai stood beside her and would lean slightly closer to her when explaining to her, so that she could hear clearly. When helping her adjust her movements, Gu Huai maintained a gentlemanly distance and did not touch her body. Only his slender fingers accidentally brushed against the back of her gun holding hand. His fingertips have a cocoon on them, and when they rub against his skin, it feels like a feather brushing over, causing a slight itch at this distance, she could smell the refreshing shampoo scent on his body, mixed with a faint scent of pine and cypress after snow. P.S. Every time a new book starts with tens of thousands of words, I habitually go back and forth to refine it, without affecting the overall plot. You can ignore it, haha, uh -huh. end of this chapter. Chapter 7 The Memory of the Body Never Forgotten You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 The Memory of the Body Never Forgotten, Try It Gu Huai asked. Chi Yu snapped out of a momentary daze and said, Okay, let's start. Gu Huai retreated behind her and finally helped her check all the equipment. While checking, he said, is there enough colorful hair? Chi Yu, who was focused on looking at the target, paused for a moment before realizing Gu Huai's meaning. Ah. Enough, right. Gu Huai's lips curved into a faint smile, but with a hint of unknowingly teasing, he said, hmm, come on. Oh. Chi Yu nodded. Actually, she has no confidence at all. She doesn't even remember how long she hasn't tried shooting I have picked it up countless times in my dream, but never once did I shoot that bullet. She didn't expect to pick up the gun again and shoot the bullet again in such a situation. The girls next to them were all a bit bored, standing together in twos and threes gossiping about Yi Linling and Gu Huai. Yi Linling had already walked up to Gu Huai and started chatting with him, Gu Huai, I heard that a new hot pot restaurant opened in the city center recently seems to be pretty good. If you don't want to go too far, a new Japanese restaurant opened on the third floor of the cafeteria has also received good reviews. Gu Huai didn't know if he had heard Yi Linling's words. He looked at Chi Yu and the gun in her hand, and his breath seemed to condense bit by bit. His expression was like a distant mountain after a thin mist, making it difficult to see clearly. Chi Yu closed her eyes slightly and raised her hand. In my mind, countless turbulent and shattered images flew past, and the gun in my hand seemed to have never been put down. Can I, test shoot once first? Chi Yu picked up the gun and put it down again, saying. Yi Linling looked up impatiently and said, Whatever you want, just hurry up. It's almost dark. Chi Yu. Hmm. Just as Yi Linling's urging fell. The next second, the gun in hand is lifted again. With a bang, bullets are fired from the muzzle, spinning, breaking through the air and shooting towards the target accompanied by the gunfire, everyone instinctively looked towards the target paper. This shooting range is automatically scored, and within a few seconds, the scorer automatically displays the number of rings, 10.9 rings. Full ring, 10.9 rings. The people who were chatting in groups just now were all stunned, staring at the ring count on the scorer like ghosts. I don't know how long it took, but it was Song Chiochio's scream that broke the silence. Ah ah. Moon treasure. Moon treasure, you are full of rings. 10.9 rings. 10.9 rings. Ah ah. Song Chiochio excitedly hugged Chi Yu. Chi Yu was still a bit dazed, staring blankly at the number of rings she had played, as if she couldn't regain her senses. At this moment, deep within her soul, it was as if there was a fire, reigniting in the ashes. Chi Yu's lips showed an imperceptible bitter smile. She thought she had already forgotten, but she didn't expect that her body's memories had never been forgotten, what she just said was a test shot, 
not a formal one, doesn't it count, said the yellow-clad girl next to Yi Linling, who seemed to have a good relationship with her. That's right, it doesn't count. Since it was a test shot, we had to compete again. The other girls also spoke for Yi Linling. Just as everyone was talking nonsense. Bang, another gunshot rang out. Chi Yu has already fired the second shot. The sound of ding sounds like a warning. The scorecard shows the score of Chi Yu's second shot. Second shot. 10.9 rings. Another full circle. The entire shooting range can be heard with a needle drop. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. I advise you not to meddle in your affairs. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 I advise you not to meddle in your affairs, this. This is impossible. Yi Linling spoke excitedly. Is the score malfunctioning? As a beginner who hasn't touched a single shot, how could she achieve a perfect score with two consecutive shots? The girl in yellow next to her also looked incredulous. At this moment, the target paper that Chi Yu had just shot was automatically transmitted to everyone. Everyone leaned in and saw a perfect circle on the bullseye. The bullet fired by Chi Yu hit the center of the circle, which was 10.9 full. The staff also checked the scorer and confirmed that it was correct. It's full. Wow, wow. It's really full of rings. Jiang Lang gave a thumbs up. Gu Huai's zero rings. Your full rings. I witnessed a miracle for the second time today. Song Chiochio finally regained her composure from her excitement and said, So, my family's moon treasure won, right? Chi Yu played two consecutive full rings, and the rest of the players didn't need to compete anymore. Did she join in midway? The girl in yellow muttered unhappily. Yi Linling remained calm and didn't speak. Originally, she had never paid attention to Chi Yu at all. Who would have known that in the end, she would cut off her beard, who knew nothing about it? Both shots are full of rings, why not count it? And it's you who wanted us to join. Song Chiochio exclaimed angrily. Huang Yi suddenly felt a bit speechless, Ling Feng, tell me. Don't ask me. Ling Feng was afraid of offending both sides and waved his hands repeatedly, pushing the difficult problem to Gu Huai. It doesn't count, Gu Huai, you can talk about it yourself. Jian Lang saw the awkward situation and didn't wait for Gu Huai to speak. He quickly jumped out and said, Oh, what's wrong with asking Gu Huai? Our game rule just now was that if you win, you can pick anyone you want, not necessarily Gu Huai. This classmate, you can pick anyone you want, you can pick me too. Pick me, I guarantee you're satisfied, I guarantee you're happy. It's definitely not a loss. After all, the shot that Gu Huai missed the target just now can be considered as a way to clear his way. Others may not know, but he knows that with Gu Huai's shooting ability, even with his eyes closed, it is absolutely impossible to miss the target, how about it? Brother, be righteous. I'll take the lead. Jian Lang proudly hooked on Gu Huai's shoulder. Gu Huai glanced lightly on the surface of the river waves and said, Do you understand the meaning of colorful heads? Jian Lang. What do you mean? At this moment, Chi Yu had just regained her senses, and then she was crazily promoted by Jian Lang's ups and downs, which made her feel a bit confused. Ling Feng's gaze swept up and down on Jian Lang's body and he'd scared his tongue, when I say Jiang Lang, do you understand the meaning of a lottery? Do you still want to do lottery? Jiang Lang's hair exploded in an instant, and as he spoke, he lifted the hem of his clothes, revealing his beautiful abs. Isn't the colorful head the prize of victory? Aren't I unworthy? Ling Feng, you step on the horse and come over to me, and Gu Huai, let's all compete and let everyone evaluate and judge. Chi Yu's mouth twitched slightly and said, Isn't that good? Are all the boys nowadays so unrestrained? Song Chiochio pinched her heart beside her and said, Yue Bao, I advise you not to meddle in your affairs. I am a local dog and I love watching. 
Chi Yu coughed lightly and said, no need. Song Chiu Chiu shook her crazily, almost hating her for not being strong enough. How can you not use it? Why not use it? How come your mind is full of potatoes? Don't you want to expand and expand your knowledge? Chi Yu. Dot. What kind of ghost is knowledge surface why do we need this kind of knowledge? However, her spare light still quietly brushed towards Gu Huai's body. Although Gu Huai was wearing a loose assault jacket outside, he could still see that his back lines were smooth, his waist and abdomen were tight and powerful ah, wait a minute what is she thinking? End of this chapter Chapter 9 Three Potato Exchange Meetings You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Three Potato Exchange Meetings Chi Yu waved away the strange thoughts in her mind and quickly spoke up, there's really no need to trouble, no need to look. I'll choose Gu Huai. A resounding sentence, I choose Gu Huai. It can be said that it is resolute and without hesitation. Jiang Lang's face turned black and he instantly felt very hurt. Why choose him instead of me? I want to die to understand. Although he was just trying to clear the way for Gu Huai, it's too much to be abandoned without hesitation. Ling Feng sneered beside him, that's all you ask about this question. Some things, just look in the mirror, maybe you'll understand. Dog thing, why don't you talk about me? If you want to take photos, you should take them first. The two of them twisted immaturely into a ball. Chi Yu looked at the two of them speechlessly and spoke with righteousness, well, I think since Gu Huai has already had a disaster before, it's enough for him to have bad luck alone. Don't implicate others. Gu Huai. Dot. Puhaha. Jiang Lang suddenly bent over with a smile, what kind of heavenly calamity are you? Did you lock it with radar? Pointing at Gu Huai and chopping alone. Jiang Lang said, looking at Gu Huai with a mocking expression on his face. As a result, the servant looked harmless and did not show any signs of being punished by heaven. After Chi Yu finished speaking, she couldn't wait for her eyes to sparkle and said to Gu Huai, Can you add a WeChat account? Gu Huai raised his eyebrows with a smile on his face and said, Add WeChat. Chi Yu nodded and said, Yes, it's more convenient. Is that okay? Jiang Lang had an expression on his face that he couldn't bear to watch anymore, shaking his head and spitting, Tsk Tsk, Gu Huai, you can do evil. He had hit two rings before, and he was supposed to be the one at the bottom. Who would have known that Gu Huai missed the target and made a fool of an ignorant girl? He tried his best to save but couldn't come back. When it comes to heavenly calamity, he thinks that Chi Yu should have been robbed. Gu Huai clicked on the WeChat QR code on his phone and placed it in front of Chi Yu, saying, Hmm, it's convenient for you to exchange prizes. Prizes. Chi Yu carefully tapped the words, prize, in Gu Huai's mouth. Isn't it just those three, potato exchange meetings? What's going on when he says two good words that seem inexplicably borderless? Quickly, the two of them added each other on WeChat. Chi Yu's WeChat nickname is, Mr. Chi, CEO of the Big and Round Potato Group, and her profile picture is undoubtedly a big and round potato. Gu Huai looked at Chi Yu's WeChat nickname and chuckled softly, murmuring, Mr. Chi. Chi Yu coughed lightly and clasped her fists, saying, You're welcome. If you want to buy potatoes in the future, you can come to me. I'll give you a discount to ensure that everyone has a round waist and smooth appearance. When should we make an appointment? Chi Yu's words were so convoluted that she caught her off guard. Song Chiu Chiu coughed for a while and almost choked to death with her own saliva. She couldn't bear to watch it anymore and reminded her, Chi Yu. Please be more reserved. Oh. Chi Yu could only modify her wording again. May I ask when we can schedule a meeting? Song Chiu Chiu. May I ask where you are being reserved? Chi Yu. I added, excuse me, dot. Song Chiu Chiu. Dot. Jiang Lang scared his tongue. With so many girls chasing after Gu Huai, 
it was the first time he had seen such a bold and impatient girl. Even he couldn't bear it any more. Well, we're going to have dinner later. Do you want to come together? Jiang Lang invited. Yi Linling, who had been silent beside her, saw Qi Yu's thick skinned face and even wanted WeChat. She had already been holding back her anger. That is to say, Gu Huai has a good temper, but she didn't refuse because she had already agreed, so she couldn't say anything. At this moment, hearing Jiang Lang's words, she finally couldn't bear it anymore. Jiang Lang, this is our private gathering. Qi Yu didn't have such a dull expression yet. She patted the soil on her body, picked up her phone, picked up a hoe, and looked at Gu Huai, saying, then I'll leave first. I'll contact you after you finish your meal. Gu Huai glanced at the time and said, it's okay after nine o'clock. Qi Yu nodded and said, okay, I'll have a voice call with you then. Ling Feng and a few other boys heard this and hurriedly said, hey, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock doesn't work. How could we end up so early? We agreed to play all night. Gu Huai smiled and said, I lost to her all night. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Breach of Contract. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Breach of Contract A Big, Male Dormitory. When Jiang Lang returned to the dormitory, it was 10 o'clock in the evening. We agreed to gather a little more tonight, but you ended up doing well and ran away as soon as you finished eating, which made those girls lose interest and leave early. Jiang Lang spoke while slippering, Ling Feng asked a few people to sing K, and I'm the only one who treats you well. I'm afraid you'll be lonely alone, so I'll come back to accompany you. When Jiang Lang returned, Gu Huai was leaning his forehead and sitting on a chair on the balcony. The thick night obscured his face, and only the cold jawline could be seen. The figure in the night was shrouded in alienation, as if drifting outside the entire world. Gu Huai, as a person, has too many halos on his head. His attractive face alone makes him naturally eye-dot-catching. Although he feels a bit like a flower in the mountains, he is not at all solitary. On the contrary, he has high emotional intelligence and is also adept at interpersonal communication. However, in reality, he maintains an appropriate distance from everyone and his emotions rarely fluctuate. What's your situation? Are you in a bad mood? Jian Lang felt that Gu Huai's condition was a bit off. I wanted to ask you when I was at the shooting range today, how did you miss the target? It's not really to help me out, is it? He is familiar with Gu Huai and knows that he has previously worked in the national shooting team and even broken a world.class shooting record, which has not been broken by anyone to this day. The thing they're playing with today is like a child's play to him. Hand sliding. Gu Huai's perfunctory answer came from the night on the balcony. Are you serious? So how far does this have to slide? Jian Lang took two cans of drinks, walked to the balcony, and handed Gu Huai a can. Thank you. Gu Huai took it casually. He seemed to have just taken a shower, wearing a simple white shirt with a faint steam on his body. At this moment, his hair was slightly messy, revealing a smooth forehead. As he approached, Jiang Lang accidentally noticed that Gu Huai's forehead was a bit dirty, so he reached out his hand to wipe it off. Why don't you take a shower and wash your hair? What's on your forehead? It seems like there's mud. Jiang Lang had just reached out his paw, and a well-defined hand had already grabbed his wrist. Jiang Lang shook the drink in his hand and poured out half of it. Jiang Lang felt like his bones were about to be crushed. Lying in bed. It hurts. Let go. Why do you think I'm dead and widowed? Show o oh. Gu Huai's tone was quite disdainful. After Gu Huai finished speaking, he casually stroked a handful of broken hair in front of his forehead. His wild and reckless movements stirred up the smooth and seductive lines of his collarbone, causing water droplets that had not yet fully dried to slowly disappear along his collarbone into his shirt. Even the dirty mud stains on his forehead carried a hint of temptation to make me even dirtier Jiang Lang. Dot. 
This dog thing. Just casually stroking my hair. Surprisingly. So handsome. Damn it. Don't randomly discharge electricity at me. Jiang Lang's face was full of jealousy, and he gritted his teeth in anger. Gu Huai, what's wrong with you? You didn't wash your hair when you took a shower, and I just wiped off the mud on your head. As for making you look like a chaste and strong woman. Are you coming to be my uncle? How can the weather be unpredictable? The more Jiang Lang spoke, the more he felt that Gu Huai had some problems and was quite ill. Gu Huai lazily glanced at Jiang Lang, ignoring him. He just tugged at his collar with a little impatience, and his gaze returned to his phone. Jiang Lang suddenly remembered something and casually asked, By the way, did you make an appointment with that potato classmate tonight? Why, hasn't she seen you yet? New book group number. 8091699926, fill in the verification information, which channel did you read this novel from, end of this chapter.